when I started talking about religious trauma in my videos, I have to say that I have been even humbled by the response. And especially when we talk about our LGBTQIA brothers and sisters and the condemnation and the dehumanization that's happened in the name of Christianity, in the name of religion, there's many per across the globe, much persecution for, for those humans. So I have been surprised and I think almost embarrassed that I did not know how bad it was. And on the other side of that, that the number of people who did not know that was an, even a thing, that they knew that they had rejected religion, but they didn't know that now they had a definition for it. And mm -hmm. depending on where you are in your life, most of us have some kind of trauma. How we deal with it and how life triggers us is a very important aspect of what we should be aware of. So if you then add religious trauma onto that, then you're just laying a layer in another level of trigger that needs to be worked through a licensed therapy program. But sometimes spiritual care, again, is that first aspect to give you permission to say this hurts and it is impacting the way I show up in my world.